would have just been laying there stinky hungry and just crying and just sad in a dark room feeling depressed hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ari and we are back with another video let's get to it I have two questions for y'all how do you handle your challenges and difficulties do you embrace them or are you discouraged by them okay so in life we all have challenges and difficulties and disclaimer please disregard my washing machine if you hear it it's a little janky but anyways let's get back to it we all face challenges and difficulties in life that's life is inev inevitable that's what's gonna happen it's just gonna happen like no it's never gonna be a straight street where you but life is perfect you feel what i'm saying but life is what you make some people handle challenges in a negative way and some people handle challenges in a positive way so say for instance you lost your job right now there are two different people in this world there are two different mindsets in this world so you have two options and i feel like when we have problems or difficulties we all have a choice and that choice is going to determine the outcome the choice is going to determine your mood and your and the choice is going to determine how you get through the problem right so the problem is boom you lost your job one option that you could do is you know feel sad depressed um sleep on it for some days woe is me what am i gonna do worry panic um cry just let out all your frustrations and just feel like your life is completely over you might as well just lay here and not exist and wait for help to arrive that's your first option or you could make the choice to okay i lost my job so it was a reason why i lost my job maybe my time was up at this job and i'm not gonna you know i feel a little bad I'm, i might be a little confused i don't know how my bills are going to get paid but i can't dwell on that right now because what it is it already happened so what can i do to move forward okay i'm gonna apply to some jobs like this what can i do on the side let me try to do doordash or something like that to supplement for some income and yeah keep moving forward in a positive direction you know you gotta move forward if you don't you're not gonna do nothing but hold yourself back so those are the two different mindsets that you could have so let me ask you which approach is the one that you used to go for now i'm gonna be honest it is possible to have both depending on the situation i'm not gonna lie the second option is usually me but um when i just went through my dark period it was like problems back to back to back to back to back to back like i was getting no good news for months straight i had like i was getting like the first option like depressed and sad but i didn't let myself get defeated i even though i might have felt that way i might have felt like man what is going on in my life you feel what i'm saying what is going on but at the same time guess what i was still doing i was still putting out videos because i'm like now like this is gonna be able to help somebody one day who's going through the same thing because trust me I'm not the only one who who is going through it. I'm not the only one who have been through it. And I'm not the only one that's going to go through it. Anytime that you decide to elevate your life, I feel like you're going to go through this period. Because it's a Persian period. Like, God got to remove a lot of things to rebuild you back up. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, at that point in time, like, it was just bad news after bad news after bad news. And I did feel myself start to get depressed. But to counteract that depression guess what i did something that i loved which was filming i love putting out content i love youtube like youtube is like my dream job you feel what i'm saying one of them i clean my house up every morning after i drop my daughter off at daycare i cleaned up my house i filmed i cooked i took me a nap and it was by the time i did all that it was time for me to pick my daughter up and me and her play and i got her ready for bed i got ready for bed and then it was a routine like i really didn't put myself in a space to where i was consumed with negativity even though it was a lot of quote-unquote bad things going on at the time now it's people that i know that who who would have been in that same situation and would have stayed in a room all day would have not eaten that day would have not taken a bath that day uh would have just been laying there stinky hungry and just crying and just sad in a dark room feeling depressed instead of me doing that guess what i did i opened up my blinds okay because 
sunlight i don't know it make you feel different better i opened up my blinds so it was bright in my room i was not in the bed and i was productive and i kept my house clean because that's one way i feel like that's one way that you can get depressed is having a dirty house but naturally like i said i'm really like um the second option even though like this is a different scenario but like growing up when i started my first business if you don't know i sold hair i had a hair company a lot of people was telling me like because it was foreign like this was like before it became popular to be an entrepreneur so this was like in i say like 2017 i started selling hair a lot of people didn't know what i was doing so instead of them like trying to understand what i was doing they was talking down on me like why are you doing it like no you need to and i was in college you need to just go stick it out with your degree don't why are you starting a business like what like we like they genuinely was confused about it but i could have let the negative criticism stop me from selling hair i could have but i didn't i kept going and i was selling hair i did take a break <clears throat> now because I'm rebranding and just trying to get my life back together. But I sold hair for five years. And I made a lot of money. More money than I made at the job that I was working at the time. I could have let that discourage me, but I didn't. So you see, the mindset. And I just feel like any time that any challenge that you have in your life. I want you to think about all the problems that you have. For one, know that trouble don't last too long and it's easier said than done because like i said i just went through something for five months straight five months straight so when i say it don't last too long five months was long to me but it's like as you go through it and you embrace like the positive things instead of dwelling on the negative things which is key that is going to make your transition much much smoother and you're going to appreciate that time and the reward is going to be better when i went through that hard time in the last five months i filmed videos so go back start from like august or september and go all the way through december all of that was like a lot of things that i went through that yes i was sad like on that video where i lost my house i was sad y'all like i was crying i did not want to lose my house and i was like god why why did you tell me to quit my job just for me to lose my house and my credit? Like, I'm thinking about all this type of stuff. And then I'm just like, but at the, at, at the same time, I was like, okay, God is doing this for a reason. I just know the outcome is going to be better. Like, that was the mindset that I kept having. Like, it's going to get better. God is doing this for a reason. He's not doing this for nothing. Now, I will tell y'all the blessing that came out of me losing my house. The blessing that came out of losing my house is that every month... All the anxiety I used to have about how I'm going to come up with the money to pay my bills and this going to get cut off and this and this and this and this and this. That stress was gone when I lost my house. Like my mind state and my emotions were more um, calmer. No, I did not want to lose my house, but it was better for my emotional and mental state. I wasn't always panicking and every night before I go to sleep, I'm thinking about how this going to get paid, how this going to get paid. And it also taught me to live day to day. Like, like say for instance, you know, everybody know your rent doing the first. So say for instance, you paid your, your rent January 1st and it's January 10th and you don't know how you're going to pay your, your bills February 10th. Baby, guess what I did? I live day by day. I will worry about that on February 10th. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just going to pray and receive my blessings up until then. I'm not going to dwell on how I'm going to do it. It's just on February 10th. It's like a, what we going to do? You feel what I'm saying? So I had to shift my mindset to a more positive one. Because when you think positive, you create positive results. When you think negative, you create negative results and i'm not gonna lie to y'all those positive results may not look like how you want it to look and and i'm being dead ass just like with the example i just told you about my house if i had a choice i would not have left my house i would rather be stretched you feel what i'm saying but god showed me like no i would rather you be calmer and all the anxiety going and you being in a in a zen kind of mood and lose your house because it's not like you're homeless you have somewhere to go it's just not somewhere that you want it to be but that's a positive mindset because i kept saying like it's happening for a reason no i grieve my house and everything it's documented literally so y'all should go back and watch my videos i'm more appreciative that i did lose my house because like i said i was i'm 
I had way less things to worry about. <laughs> okay, let's just put it like that. I had way less things to worry about at that time. When you are facing challenges, you literally determine the results. You determine if you're gonna be in a negative mindset or a positive mindset. I will tell you to choose a positive mindset no matter how it looks. Like, yeah, I've been through the worst of the worst. Like, me finna lose my car. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I have been through a lot these past couple of months. But, at the end of the day, God came through. <laughs> I still have my car. So, thank God for that. You feel what I'm saying? By the grace of God, I still have my car. Okay? Just have faith that everything is going to work out for your greater good because... God will sit, literally send you little blessings that you might not even recognize. And I just got to praise God for one second and tell y'all about this right here. And I'll never forget, this was my first encounter, I feel like, with God where I realized he was real. Now, it's a lot of encounters that I can tell y'all in the past few months, but I'm going to tell y'all about my first encounter. Something that could have been considered, considered to be small, but I knew that there was nothing but God. Let me tell y'all. One day, I was going to my boyfriend's job. He worked at the Dollar General. Beside the Dollar General was uh, um, the thing with plasma lab where people get blood taken and they pay them for their blood, right? So I was like, dang, I really need some gas. Like, all I need is some gas money. I just need some, I need to put some gas in my car. For some reason, I ain't had no money that day and my shit was damn near on E and yeah. So I went to my boyfriend's job. I, I was bringing him something. I don't know, whatever the case may be. And y'all, and I literally said, God, I need some gas. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need some gas money. Y'all, kid y'all not. When I walked out of his job, I was leaving his job to get back in my car. It was literally $20 on the ground by my door. And I was like, what the fuck? Thank you, God. That's exactly what I needed at the time that I needed it. You feel what I'm saying? I asked for it, and I was so grateful. And I showed, like, because it was it was so amazing to me how I literally just said that, and I walked out, and it was $20 on the ground. And I literally went and got, put that $20 and got some gas. Now, for some people, that might be something um, small because people tend to overlook blessings if they're not big. But well, let me tell you something. When you will have nothing... When you have nothing and somebody do something for you, baby, it makes you appreciate it way more, especially when it's something little. Like, if, say for instance, um, your phone bill, do your phone bill is, let me say an uneven number. Say for instance, your phone bill is $110, right? And you borrow some money from somebody and they give you $120. So now you got an extra $10 to take care of something else that you might need to take care of or to feed yourself that day. That's a small blessing that you probably didn't even realize. You feel what I'm saying? And that's something to be grateful for. A lot of people would overlook those type of blessings. And that's just the fact of the matter. Try to shift the way you think. If you don't believe nothing that I say, like I said, go watch all of the videos prior to this one especially at the beginning because it start off bad it start off with my trauma series unveiling confessions it's called confessions um unveiling my story so start there and watch all the way up y'all will see i went through a lot of shit i've been through a lot of shit in my life like my life has been nowhere near perfect um but what i can say everything that i went through was for a reason and i've learned and i've grown and i evolved and i'm way more appreciative i can show way more empathy um honestly after all the things that i went through i feel like i'm way more giving now like i, I really sympathize with a lot of things because i'm literally coming from the bottom right now and when you at the bottom let me tell you something if you at the bottom too you at rock bottom too the only way you can go is up you already at the bottom the only way that you can go is up you feel what i'm saying so hold on to that and have faith in it that things are always working out for you so shift your mindset i'm gonna help y'all do that i already been helping y'all so i hope y'all take in this free game because this ain't nothing that somebody gonna a therapist gonna teach you hell your mama gonna teach you and none of that um it's basically this basically like a free life coaching session so i hope you guys taking notes but i just want to thank you guys for supporting my channel watching my videos please comment um, don't be shy. Don't be scared. We we are building a community here and I love when y'all come in. It makes me feel really good. Um, even if it's constructive criticism, I appreciate it all. Okay? But thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, comment, share, share. 
like like subscribe i will definitely see you guys in the next one Mwah! peace and love